Recently, I got a question from one of the students in that he asked me that he is in third year of his college. He hasn't done anything yet, but he is interested in blockchain development. So he want to know how he can pursue ahead being in third year and what are the tools or what are the technology he should learn to become a blockchain developer in the next six months or a one year. Assuming your condition that you are in third semester and if you come from a technical background, then you already have the fundamentals, the understanding about the programming world that how everything is work when it's come to coding. You are already familiar with the pre-existing tool which we utilize in the Web3 ecosystem as well. Like you know how to set up the ID, you have a basic understanding about the programming because if you are in first semester, second semester, third semester, you have learned any one of the programming language, whether it's a Java, Python, JavaScript, or if you, you might have built one or two projects previously on a Web2 environment. So you already have a very much good understanding. If you have done your work and if you want to try to take the switch from that portion with the knowledge of web 2 technology then it's going to be a very easy for you because you will find the similar tools similar architecture utilized in the web 3 world so if you have done all of that then now in the web 3 space you have to learn about the programming language which we use for writing the smart contract so if you want to focus on evm compatible chain then you have to be very good in salty programming language because most of the contract which you will find which execute on any other popular blockchain like avalanche ethereum binance or polygon you will find we execute Solidity smart contract. We have other options as well, but the most number of the contract which you will find it's in the solidity. So you have to be very good in solidity and you have to be very good in JavaScript because most of the library which is available at the moment, which you're going to utilize for connecting with the blockchain, with the tab, you're going to utilize it. If you want to do the testing of the smart contract in the JavaScript library, you can do that. But we have other tools as well that like you can use like Python for that. Tons of things we have. So what I would suggest you to focus on the programming language. First, you have to clear your complete fundamentals. I'm not telling you to be master in JavaScript, but you need to be have a basic understanding of the JavaScript programming language. If you're good in that, then you can take a switch straight away to the solid programming language. Learn the programming language and build project. Build one of the biggest project. Try to include a project in your portfolio, which is the real world, which solves some real world problem and it provides some sort of value. So build that kind of project. We have tons of projects on our channel which you can simply follow. You can simply take this particular one. You can build this complete NFT marketplace in that we have tons of features like we have a bidding system, we have a chat communication, we have a donation system, we have an NFT architecture, tons of features we have. So go and simply build project. Once you will include four to five projects, you will build your portfolio and you can simply constantly apply for job and internship. Constantly apply. If you're going to sit and think that the company is going to come to you, that's what not going to be happen. So you have to constantly apply, approach the company, try to look at their project, that what they are working on, what kind of tools they're including, what kind of program they're building. So these are the things which you can do. I hope you got the answer.